So I did not have the pictures for Seligman, Arizona of based on the movie of Cars, but I do have it on my YouTube. So I will link that video in the description below so you can see all the pictures of um, Seligman, Arizona when we were there two years ago, me and my brother. And I believe I have a picture of Doc. I could not find him the other day um, when we were driving over there to get a video of Doc from the movie Cars. So, anyways, here's that video, and I'll see you guys in my next one in just a little bit. I'm just going to upload another one of me um, sharing my food in Seligman, Arizona at the Roadkill Cafe. Bye. So now we are in Slingman, Arizona, famous for the movie Cars, and we are staying in this one hotel. The fridge is very nice, and I gotta show you some stuff. So it's about after 3 a.m., so I'm gonna hit the hay in like five minutes. But there's the bed, it gives us two beds. And then interesting about the bathroom. What's missing over there? Why does the bathroom look like that? I don't know. I don't care. As long as, you know, hot water, you know, something to sleep. And just have something nice, relaxing. Maybe I'll take a bath in the morning. Wow. That bathtub is huge. We wasn't going to really stay in a motel. We were just going to try to get to my mom's. Um, so we could just sleep a little bit in the car and alternate driving. But I couldn't sleep. I'm always having problems trying to go to sleep. I just cannot sleep. Now, having this place, I should be able to sleep. At least for six hours and I'll feel good. And then should be able to drive for the rest of the night and get to my mama's. So, I'm happy and thankful for that one. So, anyways, um, we have a big, huge journey. So, stay tuned for all the upcoming stuff of the United States of me filming of my trip with my husband bye hi guys so we are in Seligman Arizona and I'm going to show you a little bit of the town and uh, basically this town is based off the movie uh, the cartoon movie of cars so I'm going to show you what they got around here it would be better to walk but um, we need to hurry up and get on the road a little cute little flowers mother road 66 this also has to do with the base of the route 66 and then here's like a little burger place root beer shakes oh, got him in the film i don't know what that car is but that's cute i'm not gonna really film on the other side because there's really not that much it's just houses and maybe some little businesses but here's another motel with a little cute little horsey. Return 50 is another gift shop. There might be one in there. My friend wants me to get her refrigerator magnet, so I'm gonna do that for her. Something cute up there. Um, there's the hippie bus. And then here is Mater. I was thinking that's Mater, but no, that's Mater right there. Um, there's the sheriff right there, and I believe Doc might be, um, I'm not sure what that one is. Who's behind me? Somebody's behind me. Oh, it's a truck. There's something here that's cute. And then here's another hotel based off of Route 66. It's called the Historic Route 66 Motel. There's Roadkill Cafe. We'll go in there and eat. 
and I will do another small video of the food. And then across the way is Lilo's restaurant, I think right there, oops, right there. Sorry, they got some good food. And like a little kind of old town, I don't think these little shops, Wells Fargo and all that is not open. I think it's just for the, um, the look of it. Really cool, I love it, so. And there's this little, kind of cute little buggy. So I'm not sure exactly where Doc is. Um, I couldn't find that car. So, he's here somewhere. I think I have a picture of him from the last time I was here. I'll uh, put those pictures up in this video, probably right after here or maybe at the end, whichever, whichever I don't know. But, um, yeah, from the last time me and my brother were here two years ago, I did take a lot of pictures, and especially of Doc and the hippie bus. So, well, uh, uh, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, put those pictures up so you can see those. Anyways, let's go inside the cafe. There's another thing about this little town, like I was showing you. There's this. So we're just going to walk around and check out it before we go in the cafe. cafe. And then, this looks like a little, it might be gold mining. I'm not sure. Or the gel. Oh, yeah, it's the gel. I don't know why I said gold mining. This is cool. <laughs> so I guess this is, oh, it's all, they boarded it up so it doesn't open. <laughs> That's fine. But I guess this is where they, uh, back in the old days, you know, had to lock up someone. Well, the door doesn't open very well. Looks like that's their beds. Hmm. Wow. It's got plugs now. Or maybe it did before. I don't know. Very small. It smells like, um, musky in here. The little gel, this is cute. So it looks like this would be the outhouse. They probably uh, covered it up. Oh. They're coming here to do your business. Which, oh yeah, <laughs> people put trash in it. I had a feeling it wasn't, um, it wasn't being used. But, uh, I don't know why there would be two. That's weird. I'm assuming that's what they call a silo, maybe? I don't know. It's in a historic Route 60 cell, auto cells and salvage. So I guess they might have a little small detail of salvage of cars. And I'm assuming this is like a little, you know, um, animal cage or something for, it says wild buffalo stay clear. <laughs> that's cute, but that's probably what they had in there. Maybe their cows or something. Now here's the Wells Fargo Bank. I guess Wells Fargo's been um like Americanized food, hamburgers. They even got elk, deer, buffalo, bison. So <laughs> I try to open it, but I guess. They don't open. New and used. Library. Pretty cool. So here's the uh, little gift shop that they have. Oh, I think they're like, um, oh yeah. Um, oven mittens. Oh, this is cute. If you want to screenshot that and pull it up, go ahead and read it. I think it just has to do with the restaurant or about the restaurant. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Huh. Oops. The life behind me.
<laughs> oh, cute little kids' clothes. Oh, look at that guitar. And this thing that we were just looking at, it's like a little wagon. That's cute. Now, my friend likes refrigerator magnets of the States, so I'm looking for that for her. I see them. Souvenir stickers. <laughs> cool. So here's the refrigerator magnets. Road kill six six you kill it, we grill it. Historic route, Salim in Arizona. I'm trying to see which one do I want to give her. Maybe well they all say road kill, that's why I don't know. I you know what? I bought that. That's on my refrigerator right now. From the last time I was here. Oh cool, look at this in here. I didn't see this. Oh. I can come inside. Oh wow. Hmm. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to go back there. So I'm assuming this is like a a salon chair to do hair. Um, no, I think that's just their storage. Somebody left it open. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, good. That's cool. And last time I was here, I bought, I think I bought it from the gas station. I bought one of these, and because we went to Texas, somehow it dropped, and it broke. So, I was so upset because I didn't get a chance to try it. So, there's more ma refrigerator magnets. I just don't know which one to get her, because they all say Roadkill Cafe. I mean, I think she'd be okay with that. Well, hopefully my friend will get a chance to uh, visit here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that one? I wanted something that showed like the um, state of Arizona, the um, layout of it, but I don't see nothing like that. Well, I can look otherwise somewhere else too.